this is uh, a very important topic right now and it's concerning everyone in the world i would say because uh, well i'm ukrainian and uh, obviously me my family all ukrainian people are affected the most with the uh, russian invasion and it's terrible what it's happening right now in ukraine still like lots of uh, our defenders are dying and uh, there is a massive power blackouts now in ukraine and uh, i know it's also a concern of everyone in europe because basically right now all of us we're fighting a big issue Evil. and uh, we are on the battlefield like ukraine is on the battlefield but uh, um, everyone is in it to be honest and if we will not stop it right now you don't know what uh, what they can do next day so right now um I'm asking everyone who is watching this video, who will be watching this video, please don't hesitate to help Ukrainian army, don't hesitate to take part in uh, um, anything you can do. You can donate to support army, you can donate to support people who had to flee Ukraine or who lost their homes, houses. Um, any help for right now will be important and only together, all of us, we can fight all of this and get back to normal life and uh, and we will be living in a civilized world without, without all these nightmares. So right now it's very important and I'm thankful to everyone who is helping Ukraine, supporting Ukraine and fighting for freedom, for our freedom and for freedom of uh, every person in this world. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's uh, talk a bit about music then too. So yeah, we could uh, start from the beginning. So what is the story behind Amaria? Well, um, I started Amaria project as a solo project in 2019. Uh, before that, I used to have a band uh, called Invade. Uh, we released an album together with guitarist Ilya Kaplanenko, but our roads uh, went different directions uh, on that point. And, um, uh, but still, I had lots of musical ideas that I wanted to continue creating and to uh, I wanted to write music I want to be able to um, say to the world what I wanted in music and I decided to continue all of that in my own uh, solo project uh, called Maria and uh, I started uh, with releasing my first song called Time and on that point I was uh, traveling to uh, United Kingdom quite a lot and uh, I found a very good uh, uh, producer and director who helped me with my first music video for this song and we've done it we filmed it in wales and uh, there was a beautiful scenery and you can see it on youtube so that's how it started so there was a release of time and i also did it in ukrainian language uh the sound of, of it is a little bit different different but the song itself it's quite powerful and melodic and um, after that i started to write more songs and uh, with my style uh, which is basically rock pop rock alternative rock i realized that um, in order to play songs live i need musicians and uh, um, i was always into collaborations i was always into finding people who has similar uh, musical views and who has ideas and um, that's how i decided uh, i want to collaborate with musicians uh, i found a guitarist uh, also Ilya, <laughs> Ilya potichnak and that's how we started to write songs together further we released the uh, next song called hunting illusions and uh, uh, it went pretty well because we also had an acoustic version. We've done a video with some talented guys all together and that was amazing. And after that we started to um, get gigs around uh, Kiev and Ukraine and uh, we found a drummer and bass player and uh, we've been performing quite a lot. Last year, for example, we, we've been performing on the most uh, musical festivals in Ukraine, like Sumerok Fest, um, like um, uh, Vampire's Decadence, that was the ones in Kiev, uh, a Female Rocking Voices Festival and other festivals. So last summer was pretty cool, honestly. And uh, yeah, I was honestly hoping that we could get to European festivals this year, but unfortunately all of this uh, nightmare with Russian invasion, it changed all of our plans. And um, yeah, so basically 
I, I hope that we will get back to this road of performing a lot and to the festivals. But right now we're kind of uh, spread everywhere because my fellow musicians, they are in Ukraine and they are not able to leave the country. And uh, I am uh, in London right now, but I'm traveling back and forth. Uh, I'm doing charity gigs in here in London on my own with Back in Tracks, but also I'm coming back to Ukraine. And when it is possible, we have uh, charity gigs in Kiev. Am I correct that uh, you were also part of the Eurovision Song Contest? That's true, that's true. We've been lucky uh, to be in the semi-final last year. And uh, that was a pretty cool experience because uh, I wasn't expecting anything like that. And one day I had a call uh, that you've been selected and you're in the semi-final. Unfortunately, we didn't get through to the final, but still it was an amazing experience. We had a, a live... Uh, mm, it wasn't a show itself, it was more for producers and for people who was choosing artists to uh, represent Ukraine because uh, during COVID, the two years, we didn't have any live act for Eurovision in our country and uh, last year they decided to make it small as well and only have like a live concert for the final. But still it was really great experience because we had quite a lot of exposure in some magazines in articles and news and uh, that was really good uh, but who knows <laughs> there might come a day where we'll be uh, on the selection again uh, and we, we might write something that will represent Ukraine but to be honest last year uh, Kalush or Orchestra they went to represent Ukraine and as we all know there was a victory for Ukraine and honestly I'm proud of my country. It doesn't matter that we didn't make it to the final or we were not represented, but I, I believe that every musician uh, in Ukraine are very talented and Kavosh Orchestra has uh, the best song to do it uh, on that point. So just uh, I can say that it was the right decision and uh, Ukraine uh, deserved that. Uh, let's go to your music. Uh, then where do you draw inspiration and influences to your songs? Um, well, my musical interests are really wide. Uh, I can listen to all sorts of music from like pop, even jazz to really he heavy metal or like, I don't know, grunge, hardcore, anything. And uh, right now I'm working on a new song quite quite long I'm working on it because of all the situation but hopefully it will be done uh, this year still this year and uh, it's quite experimental for me because it uh, it has some um, some rocky influence and also it has some national instruments so it will be very interesting and uh, I would say that I was inspired by some Ukrainian artists as well as uh, some Western artists in rock music and it will be something totally new for Amaria. Uh, you mentioned the charity gigs in uh, UK and uh, also in uh, Kiev so uh, as I understand you played the charity gig in August uh, 2018 there so first of all, what kind of experience are concerts in Kiev at the moment? Um, I'm proud of our people because despite all the difficulties, despite air alarms, um, our people are trying to live normal life and even to make concerts to entertain people and uh, all sorts of stuff. And uh, to be honest, that's great because um, everyone is tired of what is happening and everyone is trying to do their best to help our army. And so we are, as musicians, it's also our resp responsibility to use our voice as a power to raise money, to uh, try to, to say to people who are coming to our concerts that we need to keep going we need to keep living but we also need to uh, support our army in order to get this freedom and uh, um, on that day when we've been performing uh, in august uh, 
It was about three days uh, relatively quiet in Kiev. There was no air alarms and uh, we were hoping that our gig will go uh, perfectly and everything will be good. But you won't believe, <laughs> just before we had to go on the stage, there was an air alarm and we had to postpone our performance for like 40 minutes. But thanks God there was no explosions. So we just had to wait and go to the bomb shelter and we came back. Everyone came back to the concert place and we had the gig. It was amazing and our people are amazing because everyone misses concerts. We missed concerts so much, we missed live performance and uh, same people coming to see us and uh, our fellow musicians, they really wanted to have a zip of some uh, something fresh and uh, something inspiring and I'm really happy that with uh, my music, with our music, we can do that. And so we managed to raise money and we've been sending this money to a charity um, organization that are sending this money to our army and uh, supporting our defenders. Amazing story. <laughs> really amazing. Uh, well, as those charity gigs prove, there is a uh scene that is alive in Kiev even under the Russian attack. So how would you describe the scene at this difficult time? How, how, how hard it is to plan? Uh, well, in August, I'll be honest with you, it was uh, even a little bit uh, better situation than right now because we had air alarms. It was pretty bad, but right now we have a huge uh, power blackout and it's even more difficult to plan things and organize things. But honestly, every time I'm coming to Ukraine, to Kiev right now, uh, I'm, I don't know, it's just inspiring how brave people are and how creative they are. They are managing without power, with air alarms, with all of this nightmare going around. So they they organize some generators, they organize some power banks or anything like this. They prepare bomb shelters. And even in this difficult situation, our people are managing still to do things, to do concerts. Yes, there might be some delays. Yes, there might be some difficulties, but still we are doing that. And uh, obviously it is not like in normal times, but still we are trying to do the best out of it. Let's go back to your music then. If I'm correct, your latest uh, release was the song called Satellite. Uh, what can you tell me about this song? Yeah, yeah, the latest uh, release was Satellite and it was just released uh, um, after we've been selected for the uh, semifinal, semifinal for Eurovision last year. And, um, uh, well, this song symbolizes uh, hope for, for freedom, for friendship, for love. And uh, it symbolizes that in our lives, every person has its own satellite and uh, it's important to know that you are not alone in this world and there's somewhere in the world uh, in the sky there is your satellite that always with you that guides you through this life and uh, um, in order to find your love find your freedom find your friendship uh, you need to know that you are not alone and you have your satellite so that was the core idea of uh, of this song after releasing the song we we've done the lyrics video originally i was planning to do a full music video for it but again unfortunately unfortunately our plans changed a little bit and uh, uh, we might do it, but uh, in some time, because right now there is a bit different priorities. And uh, I'll be honest with you, like everything that we are gaining from our streams of our music or any money we're receiving from concerts, we're donating to our army. Because right now, like number one, uh, our number one responsibility is to fight for our freedom and for our victory. So I believe there will come a moment where we will uh, come back to my ideas about the proper music video, but uh, it will be a little bit later. Uh, you already mentioned the uh, hopes to tour Europe next year. So how hard it yeah, is so yes. uh, or hard or easy at the moment to plan your future as an artist? Um, 
Well, as a Ukrainian artist, unfortunately, it's a bit difficult because on top of uh, all this power blackouts and air alarms and you need to adapt to all of that. So when I'm coming back to Ukraine and we're trying to work on our music, we really have to adapt on that. And uh, that's why it causes some delays. But still, we are uh, not giving up and we're working on some new music. It just might take some uh, some more time. And uh, we are still uh, working on finishing our album. I can't tell you the exact date when it will be released because, again, as I told you, there is a little bit different priorities right now, but still we are working on it. And um, hopefully, once uh, the album is released, We've been planning some tour around Europe and uh, right now I'm even even thinking it will be a charity tour because, uh, well, again, voice is our uh, power and we need to use it in order to help our country right now.